Hello YouTube family, in the last video you guys have seen that I am building a drone out of e-waste. So now we are doing the part 2. In the first video I have shown you, explained about the parts uh, and uh, ironing system and everything. Now we are doing the second video. I am explaining about uh, uh, what are the parts we used here and also I am going to show you how to build the drone out of e-waste. Let's start. So we build this drone in this manner. Uh, first we start with the motors. The motors are 750 kV motors used here. Uh, you can buy it online. It will hardly, hardly cost you like 800 rupees to nearly 1000 rupees if you buy it in bulk. Only if you buy it in one or two like that, uh, it will cost a little bit more than that. So like uh, it is the old drone, when you take, when you see the old drone, it is configured in the manner of H frame. We call it as H frame. H frame is nothing. It looks like a spelling H. So the old drone frame configured in the manner of H. And when it comes to ESC, we, we took a connection from both the motors. So we are using four ESC for four motors. So we are using 40 ampere ready to sky company's ESCs here. And when it comes to drone body, we use it's made out of e-waste aluminium sections. So we got it from dump yards and scratch yards. So when it comes to, you know, like a waste, we used a, some, you know, like a, something like this. This is a waste rubber tire. So just for, you know, to absorb the vibration of the motors here. And when it comes to a propeller, see, you can see a propeller here. So this propeller is 12 into 3.8. I'm going to explain what is 12 into 3.8. 12 is the diameter of the propeller and 3.8 is the pitch of the propeller. And so the next part is, so we are using power distribution board here, which is also made from scratch completely. And in this power distribution board, we connected all ESC's wires to here. And you can see a red wire and a brown wire here. That goes to the buck converter. Why use the buck converter here? Because to buck converter use it for uh, to connect to the auxiliary module, various auxiliary modules. And we are also using power module for pick sock. Now we are soldering the motors from wires to the ESCs. So. Just melt a little, then so we took uh, four uh, plywood uh, sheets and we cut it down. This is all plywood sheets taken by a uh, dump yard, or else you can call it as a scrap yard. So the plywood uh, we required it for junction assembly, and uh, the, I made some holes for uh, screwing and uh, for ventilation here. And I return it for just for reference this RB, LB and all. RB means right bottom and it will go to left bottom LB. And LT it will go to left top and RT it will go to right top. Now we are going to assemble the junction to the towards left, left top. This is the left top. So we are putting screws here. Screw number one. Two, three. We got three holes here, three holes here, three goes like this. So now watch carefully. The first screw here needs to go here without without one aluminium section. So just put a, this screw to here. Okay. Then other screw, watch it carefully. Other screw to here. Other screw to here. And finally, the other screw to here. So minimum six screws needed to be fit to the uh, aluminium section. And uh, another one screw, whatever it's remaining, it's for hard point. That, that is. So now we are going to fix the junction. Now the junction is fixed. Now we are moving on towards center junction. This is center assembly. While coming to center assembly, this is the top plate. Uh, this is the bottom plate. They are where we use this for uh, placing a PDB and all. 
and this one we use it for uh, placing uh, flight controller and everything enclosure for flight controller receiver etc etc and this is uh, enclosure for uh, placing battery come to control system we are using pixop 2.4.8 and also when it comes to receiver and transmitter we are using flysky fs i6s and when it comes to battery we are using uh, uh, 5200mAh uh, 40Cs uh, Gen X power battery which is a uh, LiPo battery and uh, when it comes to you know like a GPS we are using uh, Neo M810 GPS when it comes to telemetry we are using Mavlink uh, flashed ESP Pixoc telemetry so now we are going to assemble the control system we are going to connect the receiver to the Pixoc the connection of PPM channel is the uh, is one to the RC of the Pixoc and the black pin indicates the ground which is connected to the top side of the pixel and we are going to connect it now so this is the black wire so it indicates ground that needs to be connected this way and now we are going to place this pixel here and we are going to place the double sided tape here we are going to remove this and we are going to fix this here it's done so after putting this, now we are going to put telemetry, we are removing again the double sided tape here, towards here. So lastly we are putting a buzzer down here, that's, it is going to be here. So after fixing everything, we need to make the connections now. Now we mounted PDB to here. And we took a wire from there to here and we are connecting that to the power. So we are making connection now to the power and yeah, it's got fixed. Now we are connecting uh, telemetry wire to here to T1, not to T2, T1. So yeah, now it got fixed. Then buzzer to buzzer. So it's also got fixed. So after making connections, we need to move on to the motors. Just to remember, I just made a note down like a motor 1, motor 2, motor 3, motor 4. I should not miss anything. And uh, now we are mounting center assembly to the drone body. So we are putting the screws here. Over here. Now we are going to connect the motors. So we are connecting uh, motor 1 to here. And motor two to two pick sock and motor three to three and motor four to four. After making all this connection, we are going to mount the GPS and switch. So we need to connect the GPS wires to here. So this one is going to I2C here. And this one is going to GPS connection over here. And finally so let's me connect the battery and complete the programming thing. Now we are going to fly this drone. Let's see how it works.